We're at the South African launch of Yamaha's new R1 as well as the R1M. We're at Kilani Raceway in Cape Town and um, we're going to see what's it like on track. But first let's run through some of the details and significant features of this highly anticipated new superbike. Some of the highlights of the new R1 is obviously its engine. Compression ratio is up from 12.7 to just over 13. Obviously it's still a cross-plane crankshaft engine and that gives you that signature deep grumbling sound. The bike is lighter, it's about 6.8 kilograms lighter. Other highlights obviously includes the new electronic package. But let me tell you more about the R1M first. To set the M model apart from the R1, it's got very trick Erlen electronic suspension, it's got a data logger as well as some carbon fiber parts. And for visual effect, there's an aluminium, brushed aluminium swing arm as well as a brushed aluminium fuel tank. The R1 comes with several electronic systems. These for instance include adaptive traction slide and lift control. On the screen you can set these, you can set it on different modes and then when you head out you select one and then you need to come through the pitch to slow down to about 20 kilometers per hour and then you can flick to another one. So on the track this is where it really works very well. It's actually these electronic systems that will help a novice to ride this bike properly because they really you can feel it on the track it helps to keep that front wheel on the ground. Otherwise, great bike, the torque, sometimes I even short shift it because there's so much torque available. Great bike, and if you're not chasing those hundreds of seconds around a track, I think the standard R1 will definitely do.